Well, tonight, crews in Florida are making progress restoring power across that hurricane and tornado battered state. But state officials say at least 16 people have died from the storm, and they warn that number could rise. NBC's Chris Pallone has the latest. In Florida, Hurricane Milton may be gone, but danger is still lurking. So there's a lot more water to come. Near Tampa, floodwaters are rising after the storm dumped a foot and a half of rain in just a few hours. People who thought they were in the clear are suddenly finding themselves surrounded. Rescue teams have saved at least 1,600 people. Yeah, these residents are used to a little bit of flooding. They're not used to this amount of flooding. It's the same story on the other side of the state. So we only had about five inches, but it looked like we were in the middle of a lake. Like there was water in every direction as far as you could see. Andrea Fuller says places that never flooded before are suddenly flood prone and cleanup costs are mounting. I think there's a lot of people that are just going to sell probably, especially around here. I mean, the older people, like I said, on fixed incomes can't afford this. No. I've seen the road get flooded, but never like, never like this. And, uh, and this much damage, I mean, this was powerful. In St. Pete, Gerald Gilchrist rode out the storm in a mobile home, something he says he won't do again. During the storm, I thought about that, you know, that I made a bad decision. <laughs> State officials worry storm-related deaths will increase as people clean up. We're now in the period where you have fatalities that are preventable. We are seeing uh, hazards that are still there. So please uh, exercise caution. Milton hit less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene, leaving many weary and hoping for a break. Chris Pallone, NBC News.